This video explains the appearance and functionality of the status bar, which is the blue bar running across the top of the screen. This indicates the current status of a connected sensor, be it the ICON robot or the ICG60 GPS antenna. At the moment there is no connection from the controller to a sensor, so the only icons in the status bar indicate the battery level of the controller and the active application, which in this case is measure. So in the home screen, the status bar acts as a simple reference. Upon entering the application, the status bar becomes expanded and active. In the measure application, the status bar is expanded. The displayed icons remain the same as in the home screen, only larger. This is the application button. It contains the icon corresponding to the active application, in this case the measure icon. After tapping the button, the menu below shows the active project, active job and their creation dates. It also displays the active coordinate system, if there is one loaded to the job. The next status bar button is blank, whilst the third button contains information about the controller battery level and the memory usage. Accessing another application, in this case volumes, the status bar has exactly the same appearance, with the exception of the application button, which contains the volumes icon and the volumes label on the accompanying menu. Back in the home screen, the status bar is minimized. In the home screen, it always retains this slightly smaller appearance. All applications have the same status bar appearance, with the exception of Sketch. Sketch does not require a connection to a sensor. Therefore, the two main status bar buttons are replaced with undo, redo buttons, which are useful when creating point and line plans. See the sketch videos for more information. The application button still retains the same function. Now back in the home screen, this button provides a direct link back to the last used application. Instead, I'll open measure. The status bar is expanded again. The yellow section in the top right is a warning message, indicating no connection to a sensor. The message becomes full screen when tapped. Included in the full screen message is a summary of the warning, and in this case, a direct link to devices, where a connection to a sensor can be enabled. In the devices screen, there are two existing profiles, one GPS, one icon robot. Enable the icon robot profile by tapping it. The home screen is shown immediately. Once the connection is established between the controller and the icon robot, the corresponding status icons are displayed in the status bar. Back into measure and the status bar is expanded. The application button retains the same content as previously. The next button contains a number of menus and settings relative to the robot, including the measurement mode and the battery level of the robot. The next button contains further menus and settings related to working with the pole, including the prism type, pole height and battery level of the controller. Back into volumes you can see that the buttons retain the same appearance as in measure. This goes for all the applications that interact with the connected sensor. Tapping in the status bar whilst in the home screen, you'll see that it's simply a reference. It becomes active and configurable upon entering an application. So this video has explained the basic purpose and display of the status bar within ICON, whether connected to the sensor or not. For further information about working with a total station, see the status bar ICON robot video.